Well, here we are for Mario's appointment. Right there. And I got a little poop sample. I don't know if they're going to need the poop sample, but I brought it anyway. And we're going to go in. Little Mario, are you ready, Mario? We're going to probably weigh you and check you in. Yeah, what do you think there, honey? Huh? What do you think? Oh, yeah, that's fine. We're not in a hurry. Say, we're not in a hurry. Should we get you on the skate? Yes. Okay, Mario, come. Mario, Mario, come. Jump up in here. Mario, jump up in here. Come here, come here. Come here, ready? Up here? Come here, right here. There you go, right up here, right up here. There you go, we'll get right up there. Oh. Sit. Sit. Sit on the scale. You are. You're 19.6 pounds. That's a good job. That's a good job. This is a good job. Give me a kiss. been eating well so he's had some GI upset he's got um, some new bumps on him I want those kind of just checked out and I had um, Yarsinia bacteria which is a foodborne illness and I got it from eating raw carrots and he pretty much eats the same thing that I eat so I think his um, I think since I got sick he, he's been getting a little bit more sick with those GI symptoms so um, he may have Yersinia, I'm not sure. And how long has this been going on with him? Uh, well, he's had the GI symptoms for quite a while, a couple months. But I think it's been at, um, exacerbated since I got sick, which was about two weeks ago. And then like the last week and a half, maybe. He seems just a little bit worse. Are you talking like diarrhea? No diarrhea. I, I have a stool sample. I, I brought it just in case you need to check that. Um, his stools have been sporadic from hard to soft, but no, he only had one explosive diarrhea and that was an accident on my bed the, um, just before I got sick and was diagnosed with the Yersinia. Any vomiting? Uh, no, but you know, he's eating grass and doing all that stuff. You're eating grass, aren't you? Yeah, you are. I think we do that. Come on, we, I think we did that before, but we forgot. Come on, get up there. Right up here, honey. Come here. Come here. Right up there. Oh, you just sit there. There you go. Okay, stay there. 19. 19. See, this is you, so everybody knows. 19.6? You're so good. You're going to sit on that scale for a while? So, what I'll do is I'll pull it out and it'll be here for you. There. That's my Mario. Look at how well behaved he is. He's the best dog ever. So we'll see if I can film the exam. Yeah. That would be nice if I could. He's gonna go right up there. He don't like to be poked and prodded. Low pain tolerance, low. If I pull a hair off of him, he acts like I'm murdering him. Oh, we're doing okay. I'm Dr. Bert. Hi, Dr. Bert. This is Mario. Mario, tell me what's going on, bud. So Mario, um, I'm just a little bit concerned because I was just diagnosed with this Yersinia bacteria and I got really, really sick. Um, it's pretty insidious. It went to my heart and everywhere. Okay. So he eats the same thing I eat, which is raw carrots, and that's where I think the source came from. It was food barn. And um, I noticed the one day I went to go to sleep and there was a big puddle of diarrhea on my bed which is very unusual. And he's been having these GI symptoms, kind of like I was having, like I was having hot flashes because it went into my bloodstream. It got very hot and he was been panting. And then um, at night he stays very close to me. This is usually after meal and he's got the rumbling and everything. My gallbladder was involved too. So, so I was just kind of concerned. He had GI symptoms before. I think he has a sensitive tummy, but I just noticed the correlation between me having bacteria and his symptoms. So did his symptoms start before or after yours? Uh, I'd say about the same time. We really coincided about the same, because we, we were eating the same carrots, the raw, the raw carrots. Um, 
day, you're gonna get an x-ray. That should be fun. <laughs> but you're okay, aren't you? You're, see, now he's all happy. Now he's all happy. Yeah, yeah, you're all, <laughs> you're all happy now. Now you're happy, yeah. Are you a big dog now? Are you think you're a big dog now? Huh? You're gonna get an x-ray. <laughs> yeah. You hear all that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody loves you and they want to make sure that you're going to be okay. Yeah. You have a suspicious gland. A suspicious gland. Yeah. So the bumps are okay. While I'm waiting, this is cute. Shut up and let me bark. I'm the most spoiled dog in the world. <laughs> I'm tired. I only took 15 naps today. <laughs> the world is such a better place since I'm in it. <laughs> all year in demands, daily breaths. I need my teeth brushed more often. <laughs> yeah, $3,500 worth of vet bills this year. Pet me now, tell me I'm cute. Lobster Alfredo again. I thought we were gonna have roasted almond chicken and hearts of palm with blueberry sauce. <laughs> that would be him. Yeah. If I get any fleas this year, I'm holding you responsible. <laughs> What is that kitty doing? Okay, don't cry his face. Sit. Be good, Mario. Yep, that would yep, that would be good. Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a friendly cat. <laughs> These cats are hilarious in her. What do you think, Mario? He's so You've never seen a cat like that before. Where are you? Where are you? Where you go? Are you being shy? There you go. Ooh. You're never shy. Oh, your puppy's very well behaved. I've been working on her since she was, well, 10 weeks. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. She can sit. She can stay for the most part. She can shake. She can yeah. down. That's great. That is really great. I know when Mario was a puppy too, I started off really early with him and it was just, and in fact, I think the first command that I taught him was stop. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, dogs have a tendency to run away. So I put the fear of God in him, <laughs> and, really. Yeah. And I would teach him how to stop in mid-stride. And it really saved him a lot because, you know, they're running towards the road, right. stop. Right. And, um, but he was really easy. He, so, he was so teachable. Because Karen's are really smart. I, what breed is he? Okay, that dog? He, 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 oh, they're they're smart. Yeah, they're smart okay, dogs. Oh, well, what are you doing there, brother? What are you doing there, brother? You want to go see the kitty? You think? So Mario decided enough was enough, right? So we're gonna wait for the x-ray. And uh, I don't know how long that's gonna take, but that was him screaming. Mario has a low, a low tolerance for anybody touching him, especially if he thinks they're gonna do something. And I don't know what they're gonna do because no one has ever done anything to him. But, oh. Uh, I am glad that they did the x-ray. And because you, 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 you never know. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the road. Uh, they didn't want the poop sample, which I so lovely took this morning for them, but they didn't want that. But you never know, they might change their mind, so I'm gonna keep it. And uh, we'll run to the post office since I'm in town. And then if they need me to come back, I'll come back.